Hey guys, it's the General Panda here. I've seen some pretty hopeless causes in my time. And if we don't get the shares up, this could be right up there with them. Really appreciate the support. Thanks, General Panda. So Matt McKeever here, guys. Just going to do a really quick YouTube update for you. So we're coming up on just a month since I challenged Matt Piche to 500 subscribers. As the general said, it's not looking pretty out there, guys. Uh, my current uh, subscriber count, uh, though it is climbing, it's not climbing fast enough. So since I challenged Matt, he's gained 25 subscribers, and I've gained 23. So it's not bad, but it's not great. And definitely, he already had a head start. He was at 248 when I made the challenge, and I was at 80. So I need to really start exponentially growing my subscriber rate versus his. Otherwise, me and the general here are going to find ourselves with our back against the wall. So let's jump into some of the statistics then. So just hopping on to my TubeBuddy account, I can see that per TubeBuddy over the last 30 days, Matt's gained 26 subscribers, I've gained 24. That's in line kind of with the same ratio I was mentioned earlier. So you can really see when I initially made the challenge, on that day both me and Matt really had a big pop and kind of sustained that for a couple days, so that's really cool and I think both of us really appreciate that from you guys. So on views though, I am pretty proud of this, that so far I've been winning the battle of views. So that's fantastic. So over the last 30 days I've had nearly 2,000 views, or 1,910 and Matt's had 1,680. A 200 plus uh, view lead on him, though you can see recently he just did a big push and released a ton of new content, so he's definitely ramping up his uh, views as well. So then hopping over to videos, you can see over the last 30 days I've done 19, Matt's done 21. Um, now that may sound like I'm not hustling as hard as him, and that may be the case, but in my defense, I've really been focusing on trying to create some more longer form and more engaging content rather than just short, brief videos. So I've been trying to go a lot more in depth, really push that 10 to 15 minute uh, time range so that I can really cover topics just in greater depth and provide more value. In addition, everything I've been reading about YouTube's algorithm and stuff, it sounds like it really rewards watch time these days versus just view count. So that's why I'm kind of focusing on really beefing up my watch time. So let's just jump on to my YouTube analytics page. So if you guys want to look at this information in depth, just pause the video or take a screenshot of this. But I'm just going to quickly kind of brief through it. So you can see that since I challenged Matt and started producing more long form content, my uh, watch time has really been spiking. And so that's really been rewarding and that feels great. In addition to that, you can see that my views are trending up. My average watch time is also overall trending up and that's great and right now as it stands I've made about almost sixteen dollars on YouTube over the last four months so you know making four bucks a month hustle hard and so let's dive into more uh, the exact traffic sources that are driving some of my uh, viewership so this to me is really interesting um, hopefully you can see it on your screen but so in essence of my external traffic sources Facebook is by far the most watched time, and so that's why I'm really pushing for you guys. And so that's why me and the general are really pushing for you guys to share this on Facebook because the numbers don't lie. You can see over 2,000 minutes of watch time or 440 views have been driven because of Facebook. Second is Canadian Money Forum, and that's also huge. I'm going to keep posting on the Canadian Money Forum. I need to really step it up there and just start providing more value to start engaging with that community more. It's an amazing website and amazing forum as well. If you guys are looking for personal finance advice and lessons from fellow Canucks, I highly recommend Canadian Money Forum. It's by far the best Canadian uh, personal finance forum I'm aware of. If you guys know of another one that's awesome, tell me in the comments down below. And then you can see after that, it really drops off. So in total numbers, as it stands right now, Matt Piche has 273 subscribers, and I have 103. So I need about 400 more, he needs about 230 more. So there's definitely a steep hill here that me and the general are going to have to climb if we're going to have hopes of beating Matt Piche to 500. But I'm hoping between the general and his army of social share bears, <coughs> that's you guys, 
that uh, I'll be able to quickly grow up my subscriber base and make this a real race. As Matt was saying, I need you to share this on Facebook. I need you to post about it on Instagram. And I need you to post about it on your favorite internet forum. Or Reddit. And if you're not following Matt on Instagram, make sure you follow him now. Let's win the war against the puppy eater. So yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for taking the time to watch. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know, do you enjoy a little bit more of a goofier side to my videos? Hopefully you found this a little goofy.